Yeah, I've been getting a lot of heavy use out of this um, portable Lukowski coil, which is the BTC30 Tesla coil, which, you know, it's built for me. I don't understand it, actually. I didn't make it, but uh, it seems pretty reliable. But uh, last couple of days, it kind of shut down on me. And, uh, you know, I turn it back on, and it works. But um, what I'm realizing, a little common sense, is the spark gap must be where I thought maybe it was a little bit dirty. So, uh, you know, I cleaned it off a little bit with some really fine emery, you know, got all the, these are tungsten, I think, um, electrodes, and it's still shut down. What I'm realizing is probably it's wearing down a little bit, and what I read in the manual is that it has to be, you start it out at an eighth inch, so it was at 140 thousandths, an eighth inch is a 125 thousandths. So I moved it from 140 thousandths down to 130 thousandths, and um, you know it's staying on now. So it's just a five thousandths bigger than an eighth inch. They say when you start this, it's preset at the factory, and uh, when you actually you shouldn't widen it too much because it can actually overpower the unit. So that's something else to check. You know if you're using this a lot. Um, so. Actually, if it starts getting a little wider, I'll probably bring it down up. You know, I'll check it. If it gets up to about 135 thousandths on this Vernier caliber, what I'll do is um, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, bring it down a little bit so it, it doesn't have a problem. But uh, that's the, you know, that's been the problem. And uh, see, right now it's about 130 thousandths. Right, it was right about here. And I just moved it in about ten thousandths, and that was a, it alleviated the problem. I think in the factory it's set right here at one hundred twenty-five thousandths an eighth inch. So um, that's okay. That's so as this wears down, you're going to have to move these in if you use it a lot. So I've been using this um, an hour a day, not an hour at a time, but uh, four fifteen-minute sessions or three twenty-minute sessions, and uh, you know, still works fine. So. So that's the deal, anyway. Uh, but just you know, if you buy one of these, uh, you're probably gonna have to do an adjustment here and there, and uh, watch this gap because this is you know this is a part that's basically gonna wear down eventually, and uh, it's gonna take some time now. It's not gonna wear out right away, that's for sure. Um, it'll probably take I don't know. I guess maybe I wore down about ten or fifteen thousandths after a few months of using it about an hour a day. So takes quite a long time actually I set the uh, spark gap I just readjusted it I brought it from 130 thousandths to 125 thousandths and that's the factory specification when you're supposed to start out so I guess I'll have to check this and when it gets up to about 135 thousandths or it gets over 130 thousandths I need to make sure I bring it back down again and that'll make this thing last a lot longer so uh, that's something to watch for but it takes quite a while for that to wear down that's one like disposable part basically those tungsten uh, uh, whatever the hell they are rods will get eaten up after a while which are in the back there 